How we doing? My name is Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the grill. So tonight's gonna be fun. Check out what we got here. And uh, if you ever done this recipe before, uh, as soon as you see this, it might give you a hint. One of, uh, I think it's America's favorite, uh, the Cracker Barrel, that uh, uh, that awesome half brown casserole. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, uh, this is not our diet special by any means. So uh, if, if, if if you're looking for one of those locale uh, dealies coming into the holidays. Move along, nothing to see here. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, we got our Blackstone, I love this. Now listen, um, we're gonna show you our take on this recipe, and uh, I think it's a fun one. We did a, a couple tests earlier. Ooh, man, it was good. So we're using our flat top because we love cooking outdoors, but if you've got uh, an indoor situation going right now, uh, just break up what you're about to see here over the course of a couple of uh, uh, pots and pans and things like that. So uh, right out of the gate, you can, if you want, peel and shred two pounds of potatoes. Go for it, all the power to you, made with love. Or, for like two bucks, do this, right? It's just the, the regular size you see in the store. Look what I did here. I did a lot of nice oil on the pan here. Now this is where our recipe is a little bit different than what we find online. Because online, they just want you to take these frozen potatoes and just kind of start mixing them up with everything. Well, that's not how I play around here. We got some grills, I want to get some grill flavor on here, but here's the thing. You want to make sure that this can still absorb like the uh, sour cream and the, the cream soup and everything else that's going in there and all the all the butter, oh the butter, let me tell you. So all we're going to do is we're going to do one side. We're not going to try and get like nice browning all over the place, we're just going to do the one side. And now, look at this, here's another thing they don't tell you about in their online recipes. Grab a little, uh, uh, just something, sausage, hamburger, leftover turkey if it's the holidays, and pop that either in another pan or right on another side of your flat top. And then we're gonna take this, we're gonna flatten it out just like that. And if you need to, oil the back of your spatula there. That makes this a lot easier. And we're gonna let that crisp up really nice. Flatten that out as much as you can. Here we go. That's gonna give it a nice crust on the other side. Oh, isn't that beautiful? You gotta do this step. Like I said, you can follow the uh, the instructions online, you just gotta toss that in a bowl again, but you know what? Just take the little extra. And here's the other little extra. Listen, uh, there's a couple of ways to do uh, your, your, your dicing here. If you're kind of, uh, uh, you, you know, confident or semi-confident in your knife skills, then go ahead and you're just gonna do this kind of cross cut right here. Now, if you wanna cheat it a little bit, do a starter cut and then just kind of pop, 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 pop. That's all you gotta do, anything that pops out there, you can stick back in like that. There we are, and then now, you do your dice like this, and give it one of those. But, if you're not super confident on your knife skills, then go ahead and get yourself a pole chopper. They're fun. Uh, by the way, we're not gonna get right into a whole lot of the items and stuff uh, that we're using today, but we will throw a link down at the bottom of things like our chopper here and uh, some of the smokers that you see and things like that. Because we always get people asking, where is it? Where do we get it? Where do we find out more about it? So we'll make sure that we put that down there for you. Pull choppers are cool. Uh, look at this. We use this hundreds of times on air and it, it's just a champ. I love it. So that's the greatest thing about these guys is they give it a nice, perfect chop. See that? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. No food processors or anything. Nice little blade just goes in the dishwasher. All right, so bring that over here. And that is gonna go right there. I love these things. And Trish, get a shot of that. I mean, this this is getting that really just super awesome crust that a flat top gives you, a, uh, a cast iron panel give you, uh, one of these newer kind of, um, uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, kind of a rough surface uh, type of non-stick coatings they have now and uh, some of the new stuff that's out there. Really cool stuff coming out, man, really cool. So let's get back to our food here. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking, see this here? This is a nice indication. When it starts to brown around the edges like that, you know you got a nice crust underneath. And it separates really easy, like it doesn't stick. So back up a little bit for me, Trish. There we go. Look at that, oh yeah. That's beautiful. Really, really, really nice. And then, let's go over here and give our onions a toss. Look at that. Yeah, that nice, nice caramelization. That's beautiful. So, we're gonna go ahead and set this. You see that? That's what you're looking for. 
right there. That's what you're looking for right there. You got it. So like I said, you don't want to go ahead and crisp up all the sides because you still want that raw potato to absorb all the magic that's about to happen next. So let's go ahead and mix this up nice and big. All right, so this was the first step. This is kind of the, the extra little thing that they don't tell you about online. This is that extra little uh, kind of something that makes it your own. And that's what it's all about, man. Here's what we're gonna do. We've got everything we need here. So now let's go ahead, Trish, and we're gonna put in, come on in here. Seven good feet. Now we'll let people let me know. Oh my goodness, lots of people saying hi. There we go. Here and you're fine here in Maryland. Uh oh, did I just shut Trish off for nothing? This is bad news, man. There we go. That's our two cups of sour cream, more or less. There we are. And then you're gonna grab some cream of chicken soup, a full 10.5 ounce can. That's what you want to put in there, and don't uh, don't mix it up like he's gonna tell you to do in the instructions. Right? You just want to put that in there in its condensed version. And now you're gonna grab two cups of cheese. You're gonna save a half a cup. That matters. Save that half a cup, man. Don't go all willy-nilly and dump it all in here. Here we are. That's gonna get saved for the top. Hopefully that gets nice and crispy. And you know how in life you need to find the problem, follow the money, and food, you need to find out why it's so good. Follow the butter. There we go. Uh-huh. There, that's a nice topping. Gold, my, my golden topping. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just gonna mix one of these up. Here we go. All right, so we have this lovely, goopy, yummy, mm. holy cow mixture in there. So now what we're gonna do, now you can take this and spread it out in a nine and a half by 13 inch pan. I'm gonna grab my forged in fire pan because I like this one. And we're just gonna kind of get it right in there. There we go. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. That's a 10 inch pan, so if you want to do it this way, that's the size of pan you got to go with. Now let's smooth that guy out. Wow, oh, that looks good. I need it like Holy that. cow. Just eat it, yeah, just like that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean there's more steps? Give me a spoon. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, a couple more people I just want to say hi to before we pull this out of the uh, the smoker. And in your case, if you're doing it at home, you don't have the smoker, obviously you want to do the oven. Felix is saying hello. Uh, Chad is saying hi. Uh, just all kinds of fun, you guys. Like I said, leave down in the uh, comments where you're watching from. We love hearing that. It's just such a good time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of Parmesan Romano. Sprinkle it right on top. There we go. And a little bit of our signature. Salt, pepper, garlic, right on top. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice big dig down right into that one. And the rest of that cheese, told you it mattered. There we are. And then we're just gonna spread that around. That's great. So preheat whatever you got to 300 and 50 degrees. And that's what you're gonna be looking at for about 30 to 40 minutes in that. So here we go. It's gonna be fun. Oh, lovely. Goodness, did you look at that? Man, that's nice. All right, so let me set that there. And it's getting hot. There we are. And let me bring this guy over. <laughs> man, that, that butter. I'm saying, that butter. All right, so man, that, uh, that looks like it turned out pretty sweet. Can't wait to burn myself on this handle soon. <laughs> All right, I got my plate here. Got my digging spoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> I saw I, I saw one uh, review online and they were talking about yeah, I have it for breakfast, I have it, I have it for lunch, I have it for dinner. Holy cow. That's uh I don't recommend it, but it sounds really good. And if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. So let's go ahead and put some fried onions on top of there and some scallions, just like that. And that is just the perfect thing for a Sunday brunch or a Saturday morning, or uh, I just broke up with somebody and I'm out of ice cream. This is fantastic. Oh man, look at this. Look at that. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Here. Mmm, <laughs> I miss Cracker Barrel. Man, we gotta get there soon again. Just can't wait till all this nonsense is over. All right, here we go, honey. This one too. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> we have two batches of this now that we have to try and get rid of. That is so good. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. I like, did I get close? Mm -hmm. I think I got close. All right, that is fantastic. Oh, lovely. Mmm. Mmm. That one was fire hot. Wow. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Check that link below, guys, for the registration on our big 2020 giveaway. Don't forget, uh, you got a first prize of a grilled riddle combo from Blackstone. You know how much we love our Blackstones. We've got our second prize of our awesome uh, what, skewers. <laughs> <laughs> the Tool Time Skewers from Grillville. These are the best. And our whole set of Marks on the Grill Spices. The beef, the chicken, the salt, pepper, garlic, the pork, you get it all. My name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill. Thanks for hanging out, guys.